वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ आरसी सर्किट विथ हाई पास फिल्टर एंड लो पास फिल्टर सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक सर्किट ऑफ आरसी सर्किट विथ लो पास फिल्टर फर्स्ट सो माई सर्किट इज सो इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव आर एंड सी कनेक्शन वी आर टेकिंग आउटपुट अक्रॉस capacitance c and we are giving input from here and this circuit is functioning as low pass filter later i'll explain you how it is functioning as low pass filter let us try to derive transfer function of this circuit so when you want to derive transfer function of any circuit you just need to consider zero initial condition if it is not given over here right so to get transfer function we will be considering zero initial condition here so here we are considering zero initial condition means this capacitor is not charged initially right now to have transfer function of this circuit we need to have all the components in frequency domain or we can say we need to have all the components in laplace domain so let me draw this circuit and i'll tell you how to convert that in laplace domain so here to have this in laplace domain our input that will be now v in in s domain resistance will stay as r only our output that will be vo in s domain and this capacitance that will be 1 divided by s into c right so this is how laplace domain impedance is there with different elements so v in of t that will be v in of s r will be as r over here and capacitance that will be 1 by sc and vot that will be vo s over here right now here to have transfer function we will be applying voltage divider rule right our output vos that will be input into this impedance divided by this plus this impedance right so here as per voltage divider rule we can say our output that will be input into this impedance so that is 1 by sc divided by this impedance plus this impedance so r plus 1 by sc and if you take lcm over here so you will be having v0 divided by v in in laplace domain that is practically transfer function and after lcm this function will be 1 divided by 1 plus r sc so this is how transfer function that is there with us now this is what for low pass filter that i have told you right i'll show you how it is low pass filter but let me explain you high pass filter rc circuit first and then we will see how response is happening at last so for high pass filter rc circuit our basic circuit that will be here there will be capacitor instead of resistor in low pass and here there will be resistor instead of capacitor right in low pass so if you do this connection and if input is over here v in of t and if output is over here that is v of t then this is rc high pass circuit we will see that how it is high pass circuit at last now see to get transfer function of this we need to consider zero initial condition now to have a transfer function all we need is we need to transform this time domain parameter into frequency domain or laplace domain that one can say so you see this circuit now that we will be transforming into laplace domain so here our input now that will be v in of s and this capacitance that has to be 1 by sc in laplace domain this resistance will stay r only and this output now that will be v of s 
in Laplace domain. Now to have a transfer function here we will be applying voltage divider rule. So as per voltage divider rule our output voltage V of S that will be input voltage into this impedance divided by this plus this impedance. So this impedance is R divided by this plus this impedance. So this will be R plus 1 by SC. Now to have transfer function all we will be doing is we will be taking output by input and that is what our transfer function and if you take LCM of this then that will be RSC divided by 1 plus RSC. So this is a transfer function of high pass filter right now let me explain you how this circuit is functioning as high low pass filter so you see this is what our capacitor right and across capacitor we are taking our output and see this impedance of capacitor that is 1 by sc and this s that is s is directly proportional to frequency omega right this s that is what directly proportional to frequency omega so if you increase frequency what will happen this xc will decrease and for lower frequency this xc will be larger right so when xc is larger at that time output voltage will appear as per input signal when frequency is low and as if you increase frequency this xc will get smaller means this capacitor will try to act as a short circuit so our output signal that will be having lower amplitude right so one can say this circuit that will act like a low pass filter in that you see here there is a frequency here there is output and for lower frequency this impedance will be larger so input will appear at output but when you increase frequency this xc that will get smaller means this will get short circuited so our output that will be having lower amplitude with respect to input so with respect to frequency you will be finding our output voltage that will decrease right so this is what if I say this is cutoff frequency omega c, so this is a response of low pass filter, right. Now let us try to understand how this is acting like a high pass filter. So in this, if you observe impedance xc, that is this impedance, that is 1 by sc. Now let us try to understand what will happen at lower frequency. So here we have voltage and here we have frequency. Now at lower frequency this capacitor that will be having larger impedance and as it is having larger impedance it will be acting like a open circuit. So signal that will not come from here to here at lower frequency but as you increase frequency this impedance that will get lower and this capacitor will act like a short circuit. So once it start to act like a short circuit after some frequency, this input that will pass on to this resistance R and you will be having output voltage. So at lower frequency, signal will not appear. But after some frequency, signal at output will start to increase. Right. So you will be finding with this RC network response will be like this where this is cutoff frequency and this is what a response of high pass filter where higher frequency that is appearing at output side. So see in first case you have low pass filter in which you are taking output across capacitor and by connecting resistance R in series with input we can have low pass filter and if you exchange the position of capacitor and resistor this elements will act as a 
high pass filter as i have explained you with transfer function and with this frequency response i hope that you have understood this if you have any queries you just place your queries in comments definitely i'll try to get back to you and i'll explain you that in detail so that we can have proper communication thank you so much for watching this video